My name is Richard Harbridge. I'm a Microsoft MVP, and I wanted to tell you about another really exciting announcement from uh, Microsoft Build, uh, one of the ones that I'm really excited about, which is Express Design Capabilities. To Lead is a remote-first company based out of Canada. What makes a world-class Microsoft 365 intranet and digital workplace? This is a fancy way of saying uh, we can take images of uh, forms and, and experiences and we can have uh, Power Apps uh, actually build the first version of that for us. We can essentially have you know, the first kind of build of that. Now this is exciting for a few reasons. Number one, if you don't know this, one of the big challenges today is we have this huge app gap where lots of organizations have a need for better employee experience or better customer experience or other things like that. And an app is the way to solve that problem, but there's not enough engineers and developers and architects in the world to satisfy this need and so low code development where you know um, business users could manage that application or they can make minor tweaks without maybe they couldn't build it but they could kind of manage it uh, without a developer or a lowercase d developer could do those that work those things uh, are, are one of the reasons that this uh, is such a dominant field and it's growing really rapidly low code development and um, a pattern that we run into a lot is, uh, you know, you draw up something and then you need to convert that. So uh, I've done this many times, you know, you're on a whiteboard, you draw up, okay, the first screen of the experience will be like this, that's what you were saying, and then it's going to go like that, it's going to change. Uh, and then we take pictures of it, and now what we can do is we can actually just um, uh, upload that to the system, and it'll, using AI Builder, it'll kind of read through that, um, and it'll say, hey, I understand, you know, what's here, kind of like forms processing, if you've ever seen document uh, understanding stuff within SharePoint Syntax, I understand what this is um, tell me is this field right is this field pointing uh, to a text oh yeah it's a text that's a that one's going to be uh, you know a um, date drop down or a date option picker um, this one is going to be a button and this is going to be so on and so forth so what you're doing is you're just telling it what it is um, and it's already kind of suggested all the fields for you you're just kind of uh, tweaking those teaching it if you will and then when you finish that it's going to create sort of a v1 and mvp version of that power app now the power app's not going to do anything yet but at least it does a lot of that ux work for you uh, as a starting point and then you know you can tweak it and, and adjust it as needed um, this is a big deal because at least in our organization uh, we do a lot of work in figma um, you know <laughs> yes back in the day i used to do back in napkins and, and on whiteboards but nowadays you know almost all our work is remote so we work with customers uh, and we do these figma designs or we use you know even power um, you know powerpoint or something like that and rearrange things on a powerpoint and then based on those experiences once we've finished those we then go build them and what this does for us is it saves some very useful uh, time to cycle and make the changes. It also really helps us prove to customers, you know, how many fields you want in a mobile form factor, you know, what what you want the experience to be. Do you want them to scroll? Do you want them to have like a next, next, you know, sort of a, a swiping style of st sort of style experience? Um, so these are also things that are really helpful for um, communicating that design stuff where now, you know, really quickly we can build out a prototype and show them, you know, their design in action, which often, you know, can highlight other requirements that, that they're missing like oh actually this needs to validate this way this data actually comes from this other system it's not you know you don't just fill it out here um, and so on and so forth things that you can only really I mean you can get it if you spend enough time you know pulling teeth and getting the, the, the answers from people but a lot of times you know just giving them the tool and saying like tell me how you'd use it or show me how you'd use it you learn really quickly uh, the gaps in your you know your business analysis uh, discussions and things like that so um, exciting for a number of reasons it's a nice time saver yes um, but also a way in which we can incorporate design discussions from business analysts to designers themselves into this low code application development pattern in a, in a more robust way and this is only the start of what can be done with AI assisting with that transition from an idea to execution. Um, I will hint at things like Copilot where if you haven't already seen it um, with like AutoCAD and other things we now have Copilots for creating 3D images you know it's not that hard to imagine a point in time in the future where you can just tell the app what you want it to do and it builds itself uh, you know or at least it's supportedly building itself with a, sort of a Copilot but uh, anyways I'm getting ahead of myself I think right now the most exciting thing uh, for me at least, that I saw for Microsoft Build, um, kind of for that design element, is this express design capabilities. And uh, yeah, I hope this has been exciting for you. <laughs> Bye. For